So I love to sketch. I have a bunch of sketches right here, and it's a great way to think through a lot of problems quickly. This morning, though, I was thinking, Rhino has this sketch feature. Why not try out sketching in Rhino? What is that going to look like? And so today we're going to work through a design of a kid's pavilion sketching in Rhino. Let's see how it goes. I have no idea how this is going to go. It could be disastrous or it could be a really fun way to think through some designs and immediately see those uh, in 3D and using Rhino. All right, so here is our basic setup. We have a tablet device connected to our computer. You could use an iPad, a Wacom. There's a bunch of different products out there, just as long as it connects to uh, your computer. So here we have Rhino up and we're going to just try this out. So I'm actually, I'm not going to start with the uh, sketch commands. I'm going to try the polyline. So I am going to use the keyboard to type in some of those commands and we'll just hover and it is picking it up uh, this, but then once I click on the screen, I can just go up. Let's see, I can hit shift to keep this uh, vertical. I'll click again again and what's kind of nice is if I hover over something then hit shift it will pick up on that so exploring and experimenting with your snaps would be a really good way to start to extend some of this uh, sketching functionality I'm then just clicking on this rectangle here and I can just drag this out for this project we are making a, a pavilion uh, of some sort for kids but you know, thinking of, okay, kids, they like to walk up, experience something, two different ones. So one could be, maybe let's make some kind of view device and then some kind of light device that comes up here to try the sketch feature. So one option would just be to kind of drag something and then in 3D, you could, you know, you could extrude this out and you could get any shape you want. And then you could also just actually sketch in 3D and kind of use that. And let's say you want to make a, a surface, then you could just patch that surface. So definitely some things to just play around with and experiment. I think there's, you know, a lot you can do just, uh, you know, just being able to, I still have to hit sketch, just being able to sketch in 3D. So even if I wanted to make like this cone thing, I can, you know, make two circles, make them look kind of fun, and then I can move, whoops, and I can move this up, and then I can hit both these, and I can loft. So a def definitely a couple different options to just quickly get some, some funky shapes. I could then, you know, and then I could select that, maybe scale it down, and then rotate it. Let's ro oh, no, that's a scale, then we can take this and rotate it. So it's definitely a different experience and it does take a little bit of time to get used to. And really one of the key questions here is, you know, will it produce kind of different, different results um, or will it expand some kind of uh, capability or does this really increase some of the functionality and fluidness of modeling? I will say, I think if there was a better way to navigate without using the, um, without using the mouse, that would really be a beneficial item. So I'll have to look into different ways to do that. But let's say we've made this uh, viewing device. I can do command shift. If you're on a Mac, uh, command shift, command shift, hold here, and then again, do another loft and then do another loft like that. Uh, and then now we have some kind of viewing device. Let's see. All right, I think some kids might like that. And let's say this cone got way too big, so I'll hit Control Command Shift since we're on a Mac now. Um, and then you could start to, um, yeah, just hit this and scale this. So again, I'm kind of coming back to really just exploring things in 3D with a pen, which is, it's actually pretty fun. All right, so that's some of the sketching features here. But you can also, you don't have to use the sketch. So uh, let's say you can also use a curve. And so this is actually a really cool option. So let's say we wanted to make a better uh, ramp, not something as boring. I can just 
click this and delete it and let's make a nicer curved ramp in this case. Uh, in this case, I can kind of like click, drag, and then I have ability to um, go like that. So let's try that one more time, go like that. And then what's kind of neat about this is you can just use your actual arm here to, sorry, your actual pen to make the control points. Let's see the difference a little bit here. When I go with my hand, it's just a little bit more awkward. Okay, so I did make a command to make this uh, navigation a little bit easier because I don't want to rely completely on the mouse. So if I select an object, for this case, I just did, um, you know, shift O, zoom selected, and that will just allow, you know, if I need to do that, it'll just make this uh, process just a little bit easier. So there, made a little ramp. Uh, so there's definitely easier ways to points on, and then I can start to control these points. So again, it's there's not that much difference, I guess I would say, with, with the mouse. Uh, it is just a little bit more fluid uh, and and more fun as well. I, I, I'm actually relatively surprised by that. All right, so we did discover here we can use the control command uh, to rotate. So this makes a huge difference. Um, so we're going to, there's some things we need to fix here. The, the slide is a little awkward. So we're, I, I do like the going back to a more a linear ramp for right now. So again, what I can do is con command shift or control shift, depending on if you're in a Mac. Today I'm on a Mac and you can just kind of do something like so. And then to make this a little bit more realistic, I think we need some kind of legs here. So let's sketch these out and let's sketch them out in 3D and see what happens. So we go sketch and it could be that, you know, the sketch command itself. Yeah, it's very hard to you know, it is it is hard to control the actual sketch feature. So I think what we're finding here is that, oh, I can't rotate anymore. All right, there we go. I think what I'm finding here is that the actual sketch command is a little bit jittery and we would have to go into the settings to really optimize those. But using the curve command, this provides a little bit more control. Kind of go up into space. I really want to have some kind of lock here to make sure I'm staying in the... So that's where this would really come useful and just kind of... It's not perfect every time, but it will help. Um, just kind of going between the 2D and 3D. So we'll make some kind of weird aperture, but it is nice. I will say, I mean, you could definitely get used to this in terms of like moving points there. All right, that is our aperture. Then I'm gonna come and then, and then kind of snap. So you really do have to work through uh, both of those and then Oops, we can select points, points on, and this is where it can get kind of interesting, and we can kind of like bow this out, for instance, and then, you know, just clean this up by doing like a quick sweep. Can you actually use these arrows, which is kind of cool? Um, we'll just come here. Let's just 